Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and I'm going to show you a very powerful technique in this little video called Parameter Tables. And Parameter Tables is a really good technique when you have geometry that has a lot of different configurations. So for example, what you can see here is a chain or a link of a chain that is then propagated to make a, a long chain. And this is a case where I have a lot of different chain link sizes that, let's say, are standard. I've got the 2 inch long, I've got the 3 inch long, I've got the 4 inch long. I'm changing my wire diameter each time, my width. Um, this uh, technique could be used if you had um, caps on some standard set of uh, bottles and the bottles were all different so the caps had to be all different you know there's your your uh, gallon bottle your two gallon bottle whatever um, or if you're doing um, uh, pipe fittings you know here's a half inch tea here's a one and a half inch tea here's a two inch tea so the way it works is you navigate to tools and parameter tables and in parameter tables, I'm just going to I'm going to create them from scratch. You can say uh, new table. When you create a new table, you uh, click into each cell, and you put in this into the cell what you want to change. So, for example, this is length. I'm going to put in width. Okay, I'm going to put in wire diameter. And that is um, what I want in my table, which constitutes a configuration. Let's say OK. So now, as you can see, I've got configuration. I'm going to uh, rename this as, con as um, small. This is a small chain link. It's only one inch wide by two inches long with a 0.25 uh, wire diameter. So there's a small. And I'm going to create a bunch new, a bunch of new configurations. So there. So I've got a small. Uh, I've got a medium. Okay. I've got a large. Oops. I've got a large. Okay. I've got an extra large. And finally, I've got humongous. <laughs> OK, so there I've got five different configurations. Now, right now, they're all the same until I start to edit them. So I'm going to go into the medium configuration. I'm going to edit the medium configuration. And the medium configuration will have um, the same wire diameter, but you're going to have a two inch length. You're going to have a three inch, I'm sorry, a two inch width and a three inch length. So that's what we call a medium. The large, I'm going to edit the large, and the large is going to have a length of five, let's say, and the wire diameter is going to go up to uh, 0.35. So there's your large chain link. You've got your XL, exit, oh, and this is going to be a four inch uh, length and a 3.5 inch diameter with a 0.5 inch uh, wire diameter and finally there's the humongous and the humongous is a 6 inch length a 4 inch width a 0.75 inch wire diameter and there you go I have all the configurations now and now I can test it out. Well, in order to get these configurations or have the model update, you click on the configuration you want, you say activate. And as you can see, there's a medium chain. There's what we call a large chain. We've got the extra large. It's just fatter with fatter wire. And then you've got humongous. Like that. So it's really great that now I have a part file that has these standard dimensions in them. And I can simply always go to the parameter table and say, oh, I really wanted this size. 
and I can just choose them from the parameter table very easy, easily. So my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. I absolutely love sharing what I know with others. I love to give courses in this stuff. So you could give us a call at Design Visionaries or you w visit the website. But if you like the video, please uh, give us a like on this, uh, on this uh, YouTube channel and um, keep uh, modeling fun things and hopefully you enjoy uh, this amazingly powerful tool that we call NX. Thanks again.